Today we are opening old tournament packs versus the newest tournament pack. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today, as you guys saw, we have these Astral Pack 1 packs. There's even an Astral Pack 7 in here and a bonus strike of Neos. These were sent to me by Team Sakurasu. He sent me these in order to shout out his YouTube channel, which involves market discussion, market watch, and even opening. So if you guys are interested in his channel or just for simply supporting me, go check out his channel. Link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. I want you guys to go see if you guys are interested in his content. If you are, give him a sub. But before we get into the opening, I'll be giving away this Trihorn Dragon that we pulled the other day out of a mystery box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about these packs. And make sure to thank Team Sakurasu and go check out his channel if you're interested. Okay, let's get into this video. Let's see what we can pull. So this is almost like a mini battle. So these are the packs he sent me, and these are the packs that I have myself. So we're going to open these both up. I'm pretty excited about Astral Pack 1 because inside you can get Sukiyomi. There's also a $25 common in here. I think it's one of those commons that's really tough to pull. It's called Mystical Sand. I think it's an instant fusion target. I think that's why it's so expensive. Oh, and the foils at the beginning. Okay, that's good to know right off the bat. But now that we know there's a $25 common, I guess there's other things. So Gates of the Dark World, that's a super rare. We got a Hyena, that's not it. And a Shrine of the Mist Valley. Okay, on to the first OTS tournament pack 18. So yeah, this is the newest one. You guys know about this tournament pack. It's not so old and ancient. I don't remember, when did Astro Pack 1 come out? I pop that up on the screen for the editor. And then you guys, or the editor will pop it up on the screen. Dasher, there's a super rare. That's a good start for the OTS 18. So this is a mini battle. It's the old versus new. We'll see what we can win out of this. It, that dash was a good start. I think this is a pretty even matchup overall because like the most expensive card in here is Tsukiyomi. It's like over a little bit over a hundred bucks. Then of course, uh, for the ulties and the newer one, they're like a little bit over a hundred bucks. I keep forgetting it's in the front. Terraforming, I think is like a $3 super. It's a pretty version. Thunder of Ruler and a Dragon Ice. Those are not bad. I think Dragon Ice is okay. So we're pretty even pace right now. Let's see if the second pack for OTS 18 can change that, can change it up. Once again, shout out to Team Sakurasu for sending us these. It makes it for a very fun video. I mean, opening these old tournament packs. We got a Destiny Hero Celestial. And a Baby Sarasaurus. That one was money, but it's hard to know what has happened because I haven't checked since, like, pre-orders on these sets, so I don't know what they're really valued at. Next up, Astral Pack 1. Okay, it's at the front, so this is what we're going to do. Not to spoil anything. We just want to pull an Ultimate Rare today. That's all we want. An Ultimate Rare out of each. One from each, uh, each side. That would be nice. So let's go like that. We have the Swift Scarecrow. This is a good card, at least. I don't think it's worth much. The Furi Kazan and Mask Change. Okay, it's the Mask Change. That's a very nice card for sure. It's not an ultimate rare, but it's still cool. Astro Pack was, I believe, the first tournament pack to not have ult. So, like, Turbo Pack had Ultra and Ultimate, I believe, and then they went to just Ultimate. I think that's how that worked. Okay, Incantation Talismandra. Manju, that's a good card to add. Oh, and an ultimate rare. Dogmatica, Ecclesia, the Virtuous. Okay, there it is. There's another Dogmatica, Ecclesia, the Virtuous. So it looks like right now, the new tournament packs are in a good good position here. It's going to be hard to come back. All right, Astral Pack. They also, they also do have the Strike of Neos pack on their side. Oh, I forgot. I forgot again. <laughs> Insector Centipede. Okay, super rare. We just need to pull that Mystical Sand. Spiritual Force and Dragon Ice. Okay, okay. It's not looking too good right now for the old school packs. If we pull another ultimate, it's going to be a problem. We get a Vampire Retainer. We got an Incandation Pencil Plume. And the Kagamucha Knight Super. That's like the first kind of a dud super so far. Okay. We got to remember how to open these. So we go like this. Boom. And that way we don't get spoiled. We have Swift Scarecrow again. Last time I did it appropriately, it was Swift Scarecrow. This is a close to a dollar. I think it's a little bit less. And a Gen X Undyne Super Rare. Okay. So that one is, yeah, it's not going to help them catch up, but it, it's all right. Next up, OTS 18. Come on. We have the Nordic Beast, the Dark Magical Circle. And the Quagar Hercules, super rare. So that's a much cheaper version than the TP1 version, but it's still not too great. Back to Astral Pack. Okay, let's open this appropriately. If we get an ultimate rare Tsukiyomi, I'm losing it. I'm just saying. Because we can add a minty version to our GOAT format deck, which would be pretty amazing. Spiritual Forest. Furikazan. And Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuits. Just a super rare. No! Okay, OTS 18. What can you do? Can the new continue to beat the old? I can't open this. Okay, there we go. It was like, really didn't want me to open that. We've got a Ghost Trick Break, Incandation, and the Insector Pika Felina. That's definitely a dud. Uh, that's not a great card. Okay, next Astral Pack. Here we go. 
Can we pull an ultimate rare? This is it. This could be it. Come on. Elemental or Ice Edge? Not bad. Cyber Shark. Is this the ulti? Terraforming. Okay, that's still a good card. I mean, it's one of the better super rares. It's probably not great, though. Back to OTS 18, which is right now dominating thanks to that ultimate rare. We have another Manju. Un Man, this is just dominating. And Destiny Hero Dasher Super Rare, another good one. And people are like, man, OTS 18 just isn't a very good set. And look, this is just proving you why. It's a pretty good tournament pack set. It's beating the crap out of the sold set. And this has had time to age, too. So, you know, it's it's not bad. Okay, I, I can't open this thing backwards. Okay, like that. We got a little, a little bit going there. Let's go. We have Spiritual Forest. Swift Scarecrow and Insector Centipede. All right, OTS, I can't pick up this pack. Probably because it is containing something so insane. It's an ultimate rare. I don't know what it is, but it's something crazy. Ghost Trick and the Phantom Knight of Break Sword. So that's another one that's pretty cheap because it has a lot of prints. I'm not giving up hope yet. All it takes is one big pack to bring them back. See that rhyme? Okay. Okay, all right. What can we pull that mystical sand? I think mystical sand when I opened OTS one we pulled the it's like a It's like a skeleton dude. That was like 10 bucks. I was like, oh a ten dollar common This will make some of my money back. We pulled one out of a hundred packs So I assume mystical sand is similar to that hyena. We have a cyber shark and Another centipede how many centipedes are we gonna get it's a bug infestation around here like weevil underwoods about to come out of here he's about to come out from under the wood all right let's go we have a dark magical circle vampire retainer and token collector that's a good one that one definitely has some value okay astral pack not ancient prophecy that's totally different that's like not even a tournament pack can we pull an ultimate rare sukiyomi we have an astral barrier spiritual forest and Moray of Greed. So that's the first time pulling that one. I think this is one of the better supers. When I say better, it's like two bucks or something. So it's not that great, but still cool. All right, OTS 18 has been pretty good in this opening, to be honest. I don't remember the total number. like 15 packs or something. So it's definitely been good. Phantom Knight, Monk of the Tenny. Oh, wait, why did I? I did the pack trick for some reason. Monk of the Tenny. Okay, that's not a great one either. Actually, wait, I think I might be wrong about that. I think that actually was worth something. It might have gone down, though. Still several, maybe like eight packs to go or so, something like that. So I think only two Astral Pack ones left. And we have an Astral Pack, whatever, seven, I think. And then a Storm of Ragnarok. Not Storm of Ragnarok. Strike of Neos. I always get those confused. Thunder of Ruler. We got an Ice Edge. Okay. Oh, and an ultimate rare debris dragon. Okay, I think this is number two in terms of the ultimate rares. This is super nice for Edison format because debris dragon is used in a couple of different decks. That is awesome. Oh, I was kind of expecting like, okay, we didn't get an ultimate rare this time. And boom, a debris dragon courtesy of Team Sakurasu. So if you guys want to go check out his channel, make sure to do that. Oh my gosh. And he just sent these to us. That's awesome. Debris dragon. That was a good pack too because it had an ice edge, which is I think the second best common. Wow, that's a good that's a good one. I don't think it's quite Ecclesia price, but it's very close. So I think that we're still in the running. I don't really know who's gonna win this one. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments which one won between OTS and the old school astral baby Sarasaurus. That's a good pull as well. And here's the final astral pack one before we get into the astral pack seven and the strike of Neo. So let's not spoil it. Okay. I can't believe we got an ulti. That's awesome. Oh, I I knew I was going to do that eventually. Not do the pack trick. I just opened it weird just to not do the pack trick. So we got a Dragon Ice and a Kagamusha, the Six Samurai. That's pretty cool. It is really windy outside for some reason. Uh, everything is just blowing like crazy. So uh, hopefully uh, the apartment stays up. We don't die while we're opening this. <laughs> okay, next pack. We have a Kagamusha Knight. Okay, nothing too crazy there. We're down to the last four packs. Let's go to OTS so we can end with the Astral and the uh, Strike of Neos. Second pack. Second to last pack. Maju, that's a good one. Incandation. And the Agadoic token, I think that went under a dollar as well. So on these verses, when we tally them up, we only count stuff that's over a dollar. Because it just gets crazy if you're adding up like 28 cents, 12 cents, you know, you know what I mean? So it makes it a little easier to do that. Okay, here we go. Astroback 7, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, not a bad card. Volcanic scatter shot. I don't even know what the ulti would be in here, but we'll see. Twister, okay, super rare, not the best, but it, it's a super. I mean, it's guaranteed, so not really anything <laughs> okay last two packs of the opening if you guys have enjoyed this one make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this here we go ots can we pull a double ulti let's see dark magical circle and a contact see that's the first one we pulled basically a wide variety of all the super rares all i asked for in this opening was two ultis and we got them both so i can't really complain we've got a strike of neos pack imagine if this had an ultimate rare uh 
Air Neos. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that would be insane. That would be in insane. Let's just do three to be safe. Final pack of the opening. Make sure to check out Team Sakurasu if you guys are interested in his content, especially for sending all this stuff to us. So we have Swift Samurai Storm, Sage of Stillness, Sheehan's Castle of Mist, Electric Vitus, The Umbral Soul, Change of Hero Flector Ray, uh-oh, Marionette Might, the DD Crow. I think you can also get a super or a foil in here. DD Crow is a nice rare though, and... Six Samurai Iru, so it is just the DD Crow, but that's still a pretty good card. Make sure to let me know in the comments who won between the old tournament packs and the new tournament packs. Shout out to TCG, Truster Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Ananda Tai Show, JT Cho, and Anima the Hallow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.